Gerald R. Ford, CBN 78, truly and fairly late. In naming CBN 78 after President Ford, we are bestowing an appropriate honor on a distinguished public servant who had a deep and personal connection with aircraft carriers throughout his life. No one would have appreciated more the honor of having a carrier named after him than President Ford. May the future sailors of USS Gerald R. Ford always show themselves to be worthy of their ship's name, and may they always honor the legacy of a great man. Gerald R. Ford continues our tradition of building quality ships. It is our duty, it is our responsibility, and indeed our great privilege. In time of crisis, and there were many during his presidency, President Ford and the presidents that have followed asked this one question, where are the aircraft carriers? Every day inches us closer to that day when the response from our Navy will be, Mr. President, Gerald R. Ford stands ready, awaiting your orders. Navy remains a symbol of the United States, of our dedicated and skilled sailors, of our technological genius and our massive but controlled military strength, which patrols the oceans of the world on a mission of peace. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the christening of the Gerald R. Ford CVN 78. I'm Jennifer Dunn, Director of Communications at Newport News Shipbuilding, and it's my pleasure to welcome you here this morning and to introduce our platform guests. If everyone could please rise as the official party takes its place on the platform. Please welcome Captain Jerome Henson, U.S. Navy Chaplain. Captain Kevin Terry, Supervisor of Shipbuilding, Newport News. Captain John Meyer, Commanding Officer, Gerald R. Ford, CVN 78. Rear Admiral Thomas Moore, Program Executive Officer, Aircraft Carriers. Vice Admiral David Buss, Commander, Naval Air Forces, and Commander, Naval Air Force, U.S. Pacific Fleet. And now, please welcome our Matron of Honor, Mrs. Tyne Berlanga, escorted by Newport News shipbuilder Kevin Stewart. And please welcome our Second Matron of Honor, Mrs. Heather Devers, escorted by Newport News shipbuilder Gerald Barnes. <laughs> the Honorable Rob Whitman, U.S. House of Representatives, 1st Congressional District, Virginia. <laughs> the Honorable Randy Forbes, U.S. House of Representatives, 4th Congressional District, Virginia. 
The Honorable Bobby Scott, U.S. House of Representatives, 3rd Congressional District, Virginia. The Honorable Sean Stackley, Assistant Secretary of the Navy, Research, Development and Acquisition. Mr. Mike Petters, President and CEO, Huntington Ingalls Industries. Admiral John Richardson, Director, Naval Nuclear Propulsion Program. Admiral Jonathan Greener, Chief of Naval Operations. The Honorable Carl Levin, U.S. Senator, Michigan. The Honorable Robert McDonald, Governor of Virginia. The Honorable Donald Rumsfeld, The Honorable Richard Cheney. And now, please welcome our ship sponsor, Susan Ford Bales, accompanied by Newport News Shipbuilding President, Matt Mulherin. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the Parade of the Colors and the National Anthem. President Gerald R. Ford is the only U.S. President to attain the rank of Eagle Scout, the highest honor of the Boy Scouts of America. In recognition of this achievement, we are fortunate to be joined by hundreds of Boy Scouts from Virginia and from President Ford's hometown, Grand Rapids, Michigan. The Parade of Colors today is by the Eagle Scout Color Guard from the Colonial Virginia Council Boy Scouts of America. This will be followed by the national anthem performed by the Victor's Quartet from the University of Michigan, President Ford's alma mater. Color Guard, parade the colors. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. Oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. Retire the colors.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Captain Jerome Henson to deliver the invocation. Let us pray. Almighty God, in times long past, the christening of a warship was a test of integrity as the ship would slide down the ways and into the water for the first time. The builder's professional integrity was matched by the ship's watertight integrity. How fitting, Lord, that this morning we gather to christen a ship whose namesake personified integrity. As an Eagle Scout, naval officer, husband, father, and yes, President of the United States. As the bottle breaks on the bow of the USS Gerald R. Ford, O oh Lord, may the very molecules of the ship sing with it. May it be, O oh Lord, that the spirit of the crew exemplify it. May it be, O oh Lord, that at every moment of testing, our nation may be found worthy of it. For it is only with integrity at the helm that the blessings of liberty may be safeguarded from now until the end of the ages. Bless this ship, her sponsor, the builders and crew as we look forward to the day when she may be underway and at sea in your service. We pray, amen. Please be seated.